Hey everyone, I'm Wolfie, and welcome to my channel, Wolf's Play. So, here we are with episode 3 of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, still have no idea what I'm doing with this game. <laughs> Just still trying to pick up clues. Don't know how it's gonna end, don't know how anything's gonna do. My little light friend keeps disappearing on me, so I have to keep, him up, keep watching out for him. So this is gonna be fun. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this, and um... I can understand if it, this gets a bit boring, but I'm finding it kind of interesting <coughs> actually playing this. Oh my god, <laughs> my throat! I actually find it kind of interesting playing this because I guess being involved with it's better than watching it in some cases, and this is one of these cases where people might find it easier to get involved with it properly and play it properly instead of watching. But oh well. Anyone who is liking this, uh, this, this little series. Thank you. <laughs> keep, keep hitting that like button. But anyway, without further ado, let's just go into this game and see what's going on. Sort out renaming everything now. <coughs> okay. So we were here in this house. I had the blood in the bathroom. This is really dark. That helps a little bit. <laughs> I can't do anything that door at all. Okay. Okay. I hear something. Can't do anything there. Hmm, I can't do much in this house. Nope. It is so dark. Oh, hello, little friend. I still don't even know if you're good or not. <coughs> I don't know why you're leading me places here. I hear a radio. <laughs> that was kind of freaky. Nope. It wasn't just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. The clocks? What? An attempt to communicate. What are the clocks doing? What have the clocks done? I don't get it, what? <clears throat> oh, hello. It's five past six, apparently. If you could just have a word with them, perhaps, that they listen to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? Oh, 
Where are you even going? <coughs> oh my god. Even this cup of tea isn't helping. I'm trying to keep my throat as moist as possible. This isn't working. I've already been up here. You brought me up here before. Oh. Are you there? Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all? Christ, help me, oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. I go in here now? Oh my god, I can. <clears throat> what? <laughs> okay. I don't know what's happening there with those books, but okay. Vanishing books. What the hell is this sorcery? What is going on here? Those aren't normal flames. Oh. Can I do anything with you? What am I supposed to be doing here? What are you wanting to show me? Ah, that way, okay. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. What? Their line. <coughs> it's gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them. And he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh Jesus, don't tell me those little things have been people all along. No. The balls of light have been people all along, haven't they? Oh, you are kidding me here. Do they just get evaporated or something? God, this music is so loud. Oh. 
What is going on? No, I've just got I've got to follow this path of person dust, people dust. Jesus. I have to say the lighting is is very good now. It had that little dark bit which is a bit too dark to see, but this is actually really beautiful. I have a feeling I'm coming close to the end of this game. Already. This is really surprising. Only about five episodes. I still don't know who I'm playing as. Okay, I get it. So we're playing through each person's life kind of thing just before everything happened. So that was Jeremy's part and Jeremy's the priest. So this is Wendy. Okay. So this is actually quite good. It's like different chapters of it. It's pretty good. I'm guessing the scientists are going to be the last people to do. You're being awfully considerate waiting for me this time. The music is really loud though, I have to say that. I feel like I'm shouting and I probably am. so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for <clears throat> want of a better word. <clears throat> Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Oh, she's behind me. Okay. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. So it all starts off just when people start to go missing. Okay. There's a lot of saving points around here now. I do like the attention to detail in this game though. I mean, look at that. The attention to tiny details is great. I'm a walk in a pond, because why not? <laughs> <coughs> Where's me little ball of light friend gone? Shut up, phone. Can't you see I'm busy? Why would you have binoculars for? <coughs> I 
I didn't think you'd be able to do that. Oh well. Worth a try. Okay, so where's my little ball of light friend going? Where am I supposed to go now? Ah! Jesus! This freaking pushes me out the way. I guess I just... Ah, oh, he's over there. Okay. I don't want to hear it is over there. <laughs> I don't think it has a gender. I wouldn't think it would have a gender. It's frolicking in the green. <laughs> It actually looks like it's having so much fun doing that. Just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fate. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. <laughs> Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered. Free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Okay. Then. Do I get to go up in a tree house? Yes, I do. I would have loved the tree house. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. Ah, I don't understand okay. what that means. So that's what I meant by the clocks and everything. Because we all know who's doing the vandalism. Because it was said in Jeremy's uh, arc of this game. Finally, something to do with a car. It got as far as the Haberton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. You've got to order a strike. <coughs> what? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. Oh dear. Where are we supposed to be going, little light? Come on.
Here another phone. Here it is. Somewhere. Where is it? Oh here. Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy. This is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You'd say this too seriously, Appleton. I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You'd be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff, oh, and you should again. mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a pint. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll never argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> So all these lights in the sky. <clears throat> Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. So how, why is this affecting the animals for as well? What's going on? By the way, my, um, the light on my controller went red again. Just now. It's back to blue, but it went red again. I don't know what that means. In this game, because usually in any other game it means you're low on health, but you don't really have health in this game. What? Wait a minute, what? Is that dead or. You don't look dead. What the frick? What are you doing to the birds, man? What are you doing to them? Oh dear. These are dead. Oh no. Stop trying to make me not look at them. I'm gonna look at them whether you like them or not. Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Oh no. Harvey. Harvey. So the dog went missing. Why would it push it? Taking push animals the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. <laughs> you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here! Probably coming from over there, but you know. Oh, this does lead over there. Okay. So why is this affecting dogs? Isn't it doing the thing? There we go. When <coughs> I'm married, you have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> One 
drink, maybe. Oh, one drink, wonderful. <laughs> Why do old people always do that? Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. With the little light coming towards me. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna end this here because it's dragging on a bit now. Okay, so we've moved on to Wendy's arc of this. Don't know how many like characters it's gonna do this for. I hope it's not like the entire village of everybody you're seeing here, because this is gonna be a very long game otherwise. So it's affecting animals too. I don't know if the dog's actually gone and like goes properly missing. It obviously does actually, because all the all the um, bird corpses are lying around. But I haven't seen a dog anywhere, unless we're going to see that pretty soon. This is going to be so horrible! I don't want to see a dead dog! But I wonder, I really wonder what's going on here. I really do. This is getting more and more interesting. Especially when it's, in, it's like the different views of everybody in the... Like all these different characters in the village. I really want to know what the story of Kit and Steven are. Because they're the ones in the... Uh, observatory at the top of the hill where you start off at the start of the game. So, I wonder if, like, how many people it's gonna do this for, because I don't really want to find out what the hell's happened. <laughs> I really do. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and if you want to keep updated with all my uploads on Tuesdays and weekends, then hit that subscribe button. I, until next time, I will see you. Bye.